Well, switching gears now, this evening will mark the beginning of Rosh Hashanah, one of the high holy days in the Jewish religion. And we know a lot of people are going to be celebrating tonight through Tuesday, and much of the tradition is centered around good food. So Jess is live at one of our favorite valley spots, <laughs> Chompies, to get kind of a taste and flavor of the holiday. And Jess, they always do it big, and I can imagine this is no different. Absolutely, and we are at the newest Chompies. This is on 32nd and Cactus. This place is big, it is beautiful, it is colorful, and of course, Rosh Hashanah is starting tonight, and we are honoring and celebrating that for all of our Jewish friends. There's a lot of symbolism behind this holiday, so Brian is going to explain it to us and how it all began. Well, it's the, it's the beginning of the new year, which is uh, always great. We always like for the new year to be sweet, and we like the new year to be healthy. And it's all about sweet, making your recipes a little sweeter. And it's about doing it as a family. I mean, I remember growing up Rosh Hashanah, it was the three days before, you were always at your Bubby's house helping her with the recipes, grinding the chopped liver, because she didn't have, there are no Cuisinarts, so she used child labor. She would have us, she would, she would grip the old, the, the, the grinders onto the kitchen table, and we, if we were good all year, we'd be the one get to grind the liver, which was hard work, by the way. And it's all about the food. It is all, as in any Jewish holiday or Jewish meal, it is about the food. Because you have, I mean, there's so many different traditional dishes, and each one, some Someone in the family has a, their recipes are just a little bit different, maybe, or just the, or like I, Aunt Zelda's got to bring the kugel. It's just not Russian. <laughs> it's not Russian Shina without Aunt Zelda's kugel. So it is the first High Holy Holy Day. It commemorates the creation of the world, um, but there are there are some symbolisms with the food. So the matzo ball soup you said is very important. Well, the matzo ball soup in just in any Jewish meal is kind of like the center. It. It's the centerpiece <laughs> and the star of the show. But for Russia Shina. The, the things that really stand out, the apples and honey, which is the start of the meal, right at the table. It's kind of kind of like your first thing. It has and, to be uh, sweet. And sweet. That's exactly right. That's so where the asking for a sweet for the honey. new year. A sweet new year. And then the hollas, the hollas you see are going to be round this time of year. So the breads are and, round. And that symbolizes the year coming round and, so and, and being a complete circle. Of life. So the circle of life. It'd be absolutely correct. And then on some of the hollas, if you see the the one he's scanning right now. With those almond slips, that's a marzipan challah, and we even sweeten up the challahs. Same with the um, the raisin challah, which the challahs, whatever left over, makes you slice it up and you make French toast the next morning. Another Delicious. sweet dish with syrup <laughs> and everything. And this all leads to Yom Kippur, which is a day of judgment. The day of uh, we call it the day of atonement, atonement. Right? which is a, of course the day of judgment. So there's a 10-day gap between from Rosh Hashanah to uh, the 10th day after is Yom Kippur. Oh, and your good deeds and bad deeds will be looked at. We're going to stick around here with Brian. We're going to learn more. There are some facts. Three fun facts we're going to give you coming up in about an hour. So stick around. Jess, thank you so much. I'm going to be craving chompies all morning. We love when they come in. They have so <laughs> much know. good stuff. A bagel sounds really good. And they have the toasted bagel chips. I, I'm not too far <laughs> away from that location. And so if you get the matzo ball soup, they also give you these little toasted bagel chips, which is a nice little addition as well. Just a tip if you go there. <laughs> sounds so good. I'm going to write that down.